you've seen my channel I cover the Kipper key in depth and go over just how profitable that key can be, hell, I've even done it with the Ultra Medical Room. But what if we was to take this concept and completely get out of the interchange map for a little vacation to Shoreline? That's right, if you can read at a third grade level you would have already seen by the video title that we're going to be seeing just how profitable the tape key for the Shoreline Resort is. The tape key unlocks Sanitar's office in the east wing of the resort, door number 110. If you don't know the layout of the resort too well, then simply go to the helicopter at the front of the resort, look away from the helicopter and towards the buildings, then head to the right hand side and enter the door to that wing. Then you'll be on the first floor. Simply head down that long corridor to the right of when you enter, and a couple of doors down to the right hand side, you will see room 110 symbolized with a bloody handprint on the right hand side of the door. Inside the room there is an office containing a PC, loose loot and money spawns, a pink suitcase and medical supplies. This part of the room isn't usually where you make the most money. There's actually a bathroom with a shower cubicle in it and that is where you usually find lead X spawns and there is multiple across the bathroom floor and in the shower cubicle itself with the hazmat suit. But make sure you check carefully because they can spawn in multiple places within the shower cubicle and on the floor. The picture on screen can show you the possible lead X spawns. Now the key itself can be found or bought depending on how much effort you want to put in. If you want to try and save yourself a few rubles then you can get this key by killing Sanitar and looting his bag. It's a quite common spawn within there or of course you've got jackets, filing cabinets and random scav spawns that can also bless you with this key. If you of course just want to get straight to reaping the rewards of this key then it could be found on the flea market and the price does fluctuate massively. For example I purchased this key myself because obviously guys minimum effort maximum satisfaction is my motto and I bought this key for about a little over 70,000. And then I look again and it's over 400,000 on the flea market. The tape key room, sanitor's office or room 110 in the east wing, whatever you want to call it, is actually already a very popular room due to the chances of the lead X's to spawn and you should always head there expecting a fight. Your spawn is also a very important factor in getting to this room first or not. Because this map is so big, don't expect to spawn at the tunnel extract and stroll up to the resort and still be the first person there. You need to be quick and that is why just like the marked room video that I've done, I've made a map highlighting the spawns and the likeliness of getting to this room first or not. Green circles are the best spawns, yellow are somewhat likely spawns to get you there first and red are unlikely spawns to get you to the resort first. So now let's find out whether or not you should bother with this key and whether or not it will turn you a quick profit. Now whenever I make these videos I always do it based on the fact that you have bought the key from the flea market because obviously if you didn't and you found it in raid then you have no money to gain back and therefore everything that you earn from that room is profit. We ran this room constantly off a non-peak time servers so we would hopefully run into fewer people. We ran this room until we made a total of 250,000 rubles and the reason I say 250k is because the price of the key fluctuated so much and by watching the price fluctuation through the flea market it is the most common price for this key and a good middle ground. So our first raid we actually spawned at the road to customs extract so I was surprised that I was able to make it to the room first. When coming into the room I searched the shower room first of all and found two ophthalmoscopes and an adrenaline. In the main room itself we found a Salewa, IFAC and a Morphine. Under the desk there is a single computer with which we found a power cord and some dollars on top of the desk. Which means in total we got exactly 200,000 rubles by selling what we could on the flea market and the rest of the relevant traders to make the most money out of it. So already we have the majority of the money needed to start turning a profit. Our second raid was not so fruitful, however in the bathroom we did find two Zagustins and one morphine shot. Outside of the room by the door on a trolley was a propital and there we were left with a couple of medical items that were scattered around the room and there was a horse statue on the box under the left hand side of the desk and then a CPU fan and some wires in the PC to the right. The second run gave us a total of 81,140 rubles by selling the items either to the relevant traders or on the flea market to make the most profit. This means in just two raids we have made over 250,000 and we are now in the green to start making a profit. To get an average I did this twice more and the amount of money made per run certainly fluctuates a great deal on our second run through. Our first run made a much smaller profit than the previous runs that we did. We found two H2O2 solutions and a couple of loose medical items around the room as well as a capacitor in the PC. In the bathroom we found a grizzly first aid kit in the shower underneath the radiation suit and some painkillers on the bathroom floor. This gave us a total of just 54,230 rubles. Not quite the 200k like our last run but hey I'll take it. The next raid was much of the same for the most part. We found NACLs on the floor and morphine lying around on the trolley by the door and another power cord in the PC. 
In the shower room, we found a Salewa and a Serve 12 kit in the shower itself. This raid graded us with a total of 94,317 rubles, meaning in two runs we've made about 130k less than we did in the previous two. But nevertheless, we're getting there and it's on to the next one. In the shower room of the next run, we found another Zagustin injector as well as another Serve 12 in the shower. Outside of the room on the trolley there was once again a morphine, and inside the pink suitcase we found a piece of fleece, and in the PC there was a CPU. Combining this with the loose medical items, and it was a pretty decent run actually, totaling 100,785 rubles. The next run we did pushed us over the 250k mark due to how little we needed to get there. However, in the room itself we didn't find much other than a couple of injectors on the floor of the shower room and loose medical items. The suitcase had some delicious Alionka chocolate in it and the PC was useless once again giving us some caps. So we have one more run to do to get our free run average and believe it or not we made a profit from our first run. Quite a lot of profit actually because we found a LEDX in the shower underneath the radiation suit. Putting this straight in the gamma and adding this to the morphine found on the trolley, a CPU found in the PC and loose medical items, we made a total of 1,109,525 rubles, smashing the amount needed and giving us a large profit from our first run on our third attempt. So, two runs, four runs and one run. It's pretty varied but you will have made your money back pretty quickly for this key nevertheless. The room is small and easily accessible meaning you can gather loot quickly and all you need is some protection or hope for quiet servers and this will get you some quick money in no time. The raids don't take long either depending on where you spawn but obviously, if you're going to make your way to resort, you'll probably want to loot more rooms than just 110, maybe 222, 226, 314 and a couple of others on the east wing at the very least. So, do I recommend this key? Well, yeah, of course I do. For someone that uses the resort as a quick way to make a budget loadout and make a ton of quick cash, it's a great addition to my key collection. Whether you choose to loot just the 110 room or use it as part of your shoreline money route, you'll be making a profit in no time. Yes, the room is a hot spot and it will remain that way due to the multiple lead X spawns, but if you go as a group or you get a good spawn, you're likely to make it there before anyone else. Just be careful that there ain't a group of rats lurking in wait for you to open the door for them. So that's it for this video ladies and gents, thank you so much for all your support on this video and the previous videos you guys have been incredible. I know Tarkov sort of dips in and out of popularity when the wipes hit and all that sort of stuff, but you guys have been incredible and all the comments that I've been reading are genuinely amazing. And the support that I had about Tyler's passing, out of this world. Thank you so much, I really appreciate it. So to say thank you, you're going to like what I put on my Twitter account. If you haven't followed it already, link in the description I suggest you do because that is where I'll be hosting a giveaway for a copy of the Edge of Darkness edition of EFT. The rules are simple, go to my Twitter as the link is in the description as always and give it a follow. Then locate the recent tweet explaining the giveaway, retweet that, like it and comment on that one tweet explaining one thing that you enjoy about Tarkov. And then I'll announce on Twitter the winner and ask that winner to send me a DM. This is once again just a thank you guys for all your support and everything you do. You're all a kind community and I want to give back. But other than that guys, I'd like to thank you all for staying to the end of this video and if you did enjoy it, a like is always appreciated. And if you want to stay up to date with all my latest content, then you can hit that little red button below and subscribe to the channel. It really would mean the world to me. 80% of you according to YouTube's analytics that watch my videos are not subscribed. So if you do feel like doing it, hit that little red button. It's free and it makes me feel special. It might even get me rock hard, who knows? And if you want to play with me or many other people, then hit up the link in the description and join my Discord. There's people there that play Tarkov and many other games. Hit me up we can play together sometime too. If you're a fan on how the gameplay looked in this video then that's thanks to the long term sponsor of the channel Shadow. Shadow can turn any PC, tablet, phone or Mac into a high powered gaming PC using cloud gaming. Unlike Stadia or GeForce Now you aren't just paying for a gaming big picture mode, but a Windows desktop client with top of the range hardware located at your local data center. If you have an internet connection of 15 megabytes or more and fancy giving this a go, then click the link in the description it will take you to their website where you can do more research and find out if Shadow is available where you are. If you decide to sign up using the code SAMOSH will give you money off your first month. And once again, thank you for staying to the end of the video, I love every one of you. I'll see you next time. Enjoy your evening.